boys and girls. We're going to go over some brand new crafts today that I think you'll super have fun doing. Um, our book this week was What Should Danny Do? Now, it's all about treating people with kindness. And if you can keep that in your mind, well, even when you get mad at someone and be kind to them anyway, you'll have lots and lots and lots of friends. And besides, it's just the right thing to do, isn't it? That's what your parents try to teach you. That's what you learn at church. And it's one of God's greatest commandments is to be kind to one another and be kind to everyone. Well, anyway, I picked out some things about good friends just to go with Danny's book. Now, Danny's issue was that his little brother got on his nerves so bad. And I see that in my grandkids too. Usually the one that's younger is doesn't understand what they're doing, but they're usually doing something to aggravate you, aren't they? <laughs> but um, anyway, we're gonna learn today how to treat others the way that we want to be treated. Like you don't want someone else to be mean to you in case you accidentally do something they didn't like and if you're on the side that you did something then you should apologize right so that's two sides to every story who did something that wasn't kind and who was trying to be kind so we're going to try to always i just want you guys to learn to be on the side of kindness no matter what happens and it is so hard to do and your parents will tell you it's hard to do now these this is a picture of friends okay it's on a little canvas and it says friends forever and friends can be your brothers and sisters friends can be at work friends can be at church friends can be home in your neighborhood friends are everywhere of course at school but let's just pretend this is you and your best friend right here and we're going to make a little canvas and um if you want to you get your parents to write your names on your little people okay and um i hope that you really have fun with this but you are going to paint what's most important today on this canvas with me now i'm going to put an extra paintbrush it'll be one of these that's kind of pointed okay because you are gonna try using it today I'm not gonna let you use this little brush that's in your watercolors because it's kind of hard it's bristly and everything so we're gonna try to just use your uh, a smoother brush now save this brush okay don't break it or tear it up because one day you might have art with Miss Terry or we may do something next week that we need it, so save it, okay? Put it, put it in your art things that are important. Now, the first step you're gonna do is pick colors that you like. Now, I just chose light green, green, and it's the color I chose for this, um, it dried this color, okay? But this color is the light blue color and I did put some white with it and you can do that and you can even clean up inside your color palette if you want to but try to keep it as neat as possible okay mainly the things that we mix up are usually white to make things lighter but if you come to art class we'll do a lot more of this kind of stuff okay because you'll have different little containers of paint but we're going to use this today, and first I'm going to paint the little people. Now, I'm going to make a different, I'm going to make different colors, okay? Because I want to show you what it would look like. Now, you don't have to use my colors, okay, guys? You can use different ones, okay? But I think I'm going to go with purple. So, I'm going to color the little boy and the little girl purple. Now, you notice, guys, I'm using the new brush that I'm going to put in your bag. I'm also 
mixing it and putting in a little more water. That's one thing we have to understand about watercolors. It means that it will not paint on your paper dry. You have to put water in it probably several times and you have to mix it a minute. Now, we're gonna have purple people just for fun, okay? We're gonna have purple people. They're not gonna be dark purple, okay? Just purple. Purple people. And we're gonna spread out the color real good, okay? We're gonna spread it out, try not to get on the outside, okay? See this? We're gonna paint the little person and it'll all be purple. We're not painting different parts, okay? Now spread out your paint so it doesn't look thick in one side, okay? Now we're gonna go for the little arms next. Do y'all know that lavender means love? I didn't know that either, but I've always liked purples and pinks and blues. Now they're holding hands, so we're gonna be going straight across where they're holding hands, okay? Okay, we're gonna go on up with the rest of her body. I'm trying to make sure I see the right place. Okay, I'm gonna get some more water to mix. Every time you need more paint, put it in the water again, okay? Every time, okay? And um, try not to have too much water on your brush. Woo, where am I? It's a little pigtail. I was trying to see. Okay, here we go. Little pigtail. See, and we're gonna go and paint her face. Her little ear. Go around her little eyeball if you can and leave it white, okay? Well, I don't think I did that. I think I painted the eyeball. Makes, makes it stand out more, doesn't it? Okay, spread out that paint. Look, there's some paint I can spread out. Now, I'm gonna paint my little boy and my little girl the same color, okay? And I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, just give me one little second, see? get more water every time you get more paint. Now I'm gonna have to go with paint with uh, purple for both of them. And you you may not, you are welcome to do your own thing. I'm just gonna show you what I did. I'm just going with different colors this time. That's the only thing I'm doing different. Just, those are little shorts he has on, okay? Hard to see that white sometimes. But spread your paint out, okay guys? There's no need to get more paint. If you still have paint, just spread out. Okay, there we go. Now, we got his little leg and his little shorts painted. Now we're gonna get this foot, both of his feet painted. Okay, see what I'm doing? Now I'm coming over here. Whoop. You see it? <laughs> okay, got the hair. Now, I wanna show you a secret about what we're doing. You may wanna go back and get some of this paint off, okay? 
Now, if you got out of the line some, I don't want you to worry about it, okay? If you want to make the eye darker, just put a little bit more purple inside it, because sometimes it it shows it doesn't show up as dark purple. Does it? So you might want to do that. <laughs> okay, now here's the second step. Are you ready? Now, you are gonna use a tiny bit of purple with this next step, but you're gonna use a whole lot of white. So, I mean, I want you to give me a couple of minutes because y'all see I'm getting water and I'm mixing my white. Now, this is gonna be fun, okay? I want you to watch carefully how I do this, okay? And we'll have to clean out our paints after we do this, okay? So, we're going to take a wipey or you can take a wet paper towel, whatever you want to take. Now, are you ready? Get a little tiny bit of purple with it. See? Now, I'm ready. Let's see what happens. I'm going to paint it purple and white. See how much lighter that let me get some more white, some little tiny bit of purple. But I'm going to put mostly, you see, it's going to go around the little girl. See that? Love it. It's gonna make kind of a whitish lavender around her. That's how you make paint lighter, see? And that way she kind of has a little background. Okay, I'm gonna get some more white. Oh, might need some water, huh? Mix it. Now get a little tiny bit of purple. And keep on going. Now I want y'all to notice something, okay? about this there's a dotted line and you're gonna stop okay on that dotted line I love this light lavender though remember you're mixing white with a dab 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 of, pur of white purple with white okay white on your brush fires and keep your white clean and barely a little bit on there Okay, and we're gonna go all the way across like this. See what I'm doing? All the way across. I'm gonna get some more white and some more purple. Keep going across. Oh, isn't that pretty? Now this is gonna be a little different than my other one. See, I made it in greens and blues, isn't it? So, See, see what I mean? You don't have to clean that out, right? <laughs> okay, here we go. Let's go to the other. Whoopsie! I just, I just splashed paint, didn't I? You know, don't worry about how you have to go across things. It's, it's okay. Get some more purple. So it's making a pretty color, isn't it? Remember, spread all your paint out. Don't get new paint until you spread it out. Okay. Water. Mix. Little purple. Keep on going just like we were before. If you want to do the sides, you may. Whatever you like about the sides is up to you, but go up to this line with this light lavender, okay? See? And you have enough on your canvas to just like spread it real nice and even, see? If you want to, you can go back and make it a little darker. Smooth it out. Don't make it too dark though, because we don't want it as dark as the picture, do we? Okay, here we go. We got to get in between everything. And we're almost done with the little girl, okay? So we got to go in the middle. Whoa, I need some more white. I almost got too dark, didn't I? Sometimes you have to do that, because it'll trick you sometimes. Mm. I love this though. It's going to be so pretty. Okay, mm 
spread your paint out if you see globs, okay? Because that will make your picture look a lot prettier. Okay. Another little secret, guys, is like your paintbrush. It can stay, it can have paint in it for a long time. So switch sides when you're painting. Paint some with the other side. And spread all your paint out good. Okay, be sure you didn't leave any cracks and crevices. Crevices, I should say, probably. Not real sure about that one. Okay, now, I am purple and lavender people. Now, you don't have to do this. Now, I want you to look because this kind of blends, doesn't it, right there. So, we're going to pick a color that will blend with this, okay? And I might go with that blue again because I really like it. And blue and purple go together really well. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mix up some good blue, put water in it several, several, several times, okay? And when you're painting this, Miss Terry wrote on it with crayon. So that crayon is gonna show, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and paint over it with blue. I'm not sure if we need any white with it. Might, might not. Okay, let's do it. Ooh, that's pretty. Kind of blended over that line. I love this blue. Maybe a little bit of white paint with it. Now, you do the colors you want. You do not have to do what I'm doing. Okay? In fact, if you're uh, trying to make purple, you are going to mix red and blue. Okay? So, that'll make your uh, color real pretty if it's something that kind of is what... It's uh, what is mixed together to make the color, okay? So think about that too. And we can just mix that color right there and kind of blend it. Y'all see what I'm doing? So that it doesn't look really two different colors. Get a little more water. Sometimes you gotta get more water, don't you? Okay. See what we're doing? Now, when this dries, guys, the um, crayon, Friends Forever, will be showing better, okay? You gotta wait till it kinda dries. Okay? But you can kinda mix the colors if you want to. That blue and purple look great together. If you wanna put a little blue in your picture, I'm just getting some of them, putting some little highlights in here. See? So, my friends forever this time is purple and blue. With purple kids and lavender background. So, I like both of those, but you pick the one that you like, okay? Now, I'm going to scoot over a tiny bit. Because um, the next craft we make, we're going to need water again. And these are your directions when you do your canvas. And these, are, this is a color mixing chart, okay? And combinations that go together. So if you like red and blue together, blue and orange, these colors do well together. I just put that kind of on there extra. And this tells you how Miss Terry did the canvas, okay? So, hope you love that. And guys, what's cool about these canvases is, you can put it anywhere and it will sit up on the table or anywhere. You don't have to have a stand or anything. You can put it up on your counter in the bedroom or the bathroom. I think I would love that one for the bathroom. I love both of them. So they stand up all by themselves. Watch me tell you that and something will happen. But you have to work with it. <laughs> 
This one's not standing up as well as this one back here. But anyway, if you work with it, it stands up by itself. Now, I'm gonna kinda move these out of the way right here because I want you to see our next craft, okay? And you may use either with this craft, okay? You may wanna use markers or you may wanna use your paints, okay? Miss Terry's not gonna tell you which one you have to use. I'm gonna show you one way and then I'm gonna let you decide. But friendship, for some reason, makes me think of rainbows and how much we care about each other. Now, these are watercolor markers, okay? And we're gonna be using, if you still have it, I hope you do, your big brush, okay? Uh, get this out. If you don't have one, when I call you, uh, your parents, be sure you ask for one, okay? because we use this several times to do special things. Now, first step, and these are your direction. These are watercolor markers, okay? And you're gonna make a colorful rainbow. Now, they picked four colors, so I'm gonna stick with what they picked, okay? Because I know that one looks good. Let me put this back up out here, because I'm gonna lose these. <laughs> Okay, here we go. I'm gonna start with red. Now, to make a rainbow, if you want some help making your rainbow, maybe your parents or someone can draw it for you. But watch Miss Terry, watercolor markers, which is what these are, and this is red. Now go very slowly. Make the red stripe. See what I did? Now, Go very slowly, and we're gonna make the orange stripe, okay? Watch me. Wow, that's pretty bright orange, isn't it? Now you get to keep your markers, but don't lose them, okay? Because we might need them again. And, oh, yellow. I hope this yellow shows up real well. Here's the yellow. Oh yeah, that's cool. Now this is just paper towel if you wanna make more than one of these. And I kind of padded it with extra paper towel. I think they only folded it over one time, but I always do extra, so. Now, and here is green. Now, if you change the colors of your rainbow, it's okay. Now, are you ready to watch Miss Terry? Okay, we have it with the markers now, okay? Now, here we go. The rainbow and their paper towels, and then we're not gonna really spray with water. We're gonna paint with water. And if you have new water like I do, that might work better. Cause that water has that lavender color in it and purplish color. So I'm thinking we'll use this clean water. Now, don't get it too wet. You are going to paint inside your rainbow. See? And we're going to see what happens to the color. We're going to let it kind of fade with the other color. Look, and it's going to make all the colors of the rainbow. See? And this is why I padded it with extra ones. So all those colors should just spread out. Don't use too much water. But this is just for fun and it will dry by tomorrow. Okay. And all those colors will spread out more. Isn't that pretty? And look, you can tell what colors are made from because look at the orange. It has yellow coming out. So you may see some red in it too because look at that red on the side. Because yellow and red make orange. Do you know that? So the orange is coming out. They all bleed out. Now, I wanna show you one more thing with this, okay? We're gonna try, now, if your parents have food colors, this could be a little messy, but I bought these just to show you that you can use them if you want to. 
and those are four colors of the rainbow just like mine and if you want to use it with that now this is going to keep spreading out guys in fact when you wake up in the morning it might be a lot like this picture i love the way that purple started coming out of that red too that's cool now if you want to see it's going to come further together too so this just keeps on going until the paper towel dries but let's try one more one more experiment this is kind of like our experiment day okay we're going to try it with our water colors how about that okay now i'm going to start with the red we haven't used red today so this is cool i'm going to use a small brush okay small brush with the red watch small brush this is just for fun now i want to tell you something if you want to make some more of these pictures at home you can draw a flower you can draw some of the pictures i gave you to draw today like i think i have like a hippo and a frog and some cool stuff to draw so if you would like to do that that would be fun okay are you ready let's see if we can paint a red line now listen boys and girls I have no idea which is going to do the best because I haven't done the one with watercolors <laughs> so you can paint it they say or you can use markers so here we go Miss Terry's using markers to do a happy picture okay now let's oopsie i didn't mean to do that okay now i'm gonna go to my orange watercolor and y'all know i'm gonna have to mix for a minute so we have to be very patient don't we be patient patient and make a, it makes the same kind of line though doesn't it okay It is a little harder to paint it because the brush is, uh, you know, kind of soft. So you may have to go over it a couple of times when you paint it, like the series doing. Get a little bit more paint. See? Okay, now we're going to get yellow. And our yellow has a little bit of green. I'm not sure why. What Miss Terry did with that. <laughs> but, don't you love to paint rainbows? They're just little half circles, aren't they? That's all they are. That's what makes rainbows easy. Now, I want you to remember something we learned a long time ago when I did another art project with you. When you're up in an airplane and you're looking down from the sky and you see a rainbow, it's always going to be round. We can only see half of it, okay? We can only see half of it when we're standing on the ground. But the rainbow is really, a ra it's really round and goes round and round. Okay, now I'm going to, oh, y'all look how much that's spreading out more. Okay, I'm going to go to green. Got a little bit of orange in the green, but we're still going to, we're going to roll with it. Okay. <laughs> this is really looking pretty. Okay, let's see. One more part. I'll go over it one more time to make it a little bit darker. Now, let's see if we can wet this rainbow. This is going to be fun. And you have directions for this, too. It's right under here. Okay. Oh, look. They painted around the blue sky. So, you may want to do that, too. I didn't think about that. Okay. So, here we go. Let's see if this one spreads out. It's good. Which one's going to be best? You want to find out? Just watch 
on the library website, huh? Everything we do in summer readings on the library website. Okay, I really like this. I just want to see what it turns out like. Now, we're really not going to be able to tell a lot today because seriously, it has to dry. Oh, I see it bleeding out though, don't you? And you might want to go on this side of the red too. Hmm, just go on top of each line and I think it'll bleed out more. See what I'm doing? Oh, yay. That's looking super. Now, I want to show you a secret. Okay? If you look on the back side, you have another rainbow. Look how many layers it goes through. That's another thing you can do is count how many layers actually make the rainbow. Hmm. It makes a good one on the back of this one in the second layer. Hang on. I don't think I have the second layer out. There it is. If I can get it. Look. The second layer really makes a good one like the first one. But when they all dry, you can pull them apart and see. I think that is so cool. I think this one's spreading more, but it's had more time. So tomorrow morning, I mean, put these up and tomorrow morning, look and see if maybe it really spread out to meet each other. So I hope you, hope you had fun with your rainbows. You also have some things. You have to finish drawing the horse. It says to draw his face and his tail and his hooves. So there's horse drawing and other little animals. There's a cow. And I did this because these are some of our favorite animal friends and a puppy dog. So I hope you get to practice drawing. And I also hope you enjoy your painting today because we did pretty good uh, two paintings, one on canvas and one on paper towel. And both of them were happy pictures. You get to keep your markers, but save them because you don't ever know when we might use them again. And these are just best friend pictures of you and your best friends. And you can color or paint whatever you like to do. There's some really cute pictures of friends. Okay, so I hope you like them. And this says Jesus loves you because he's our very best friend, isn't he? So I hope you guys have fun today. And I hope you enjoy all of your things that we made, your canvas and your rainbow, and your coloring, and drawing, and everything that you need will be in your little package. So guys, this is our next to last week, okay? So next week is gonna be about uh, giraffes. Don't miss it, because we're doing a big canvas on our giraffe and finding out some super cool things about giraffes, okay? So, I hope you have fun. This is starting to spread, but remember, it takes a little bit of time, so we just have to be patient. Overnight, tomorrow will be a big surprise and see what it looks like. Okay, well, y'all have a great day today, and I hope you enjoy everything. See you later. Bye-bye. One more week. That's next week. Don't miss out. Bye-bye.